<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to our deep dive into the west direction here. Navi and I are still here in the Olympic forest and having a great time. I don't know if she's having a great time, but I am enjoying this beauty that is surrounding me. So hopefully you have had a chance to watch the first uh, three videos. We did an introduction to the west direction. We did an assessment of what needs to be transformed in our lives. We talked about creating sacred space. And hopefully you've been able to uh, fill out the PDFs and get some clarity around what that looks like for you. And today we're going to talk about boundaries, and um, which is, you know, oftentimes the, the like icky conversation that we have that we don't really want to have, but we have to have it. And uh, being able to make and create those boundaries that are healthy for us that um, you know are healthy for other people and animals yes we need to have a boundary <laughs> it, it's taken a couple of times to actually create this video because uh, this one um, is pushing my boundaries as much as she possibly can and that leads me to who in your life pushes your boundaries? Who makes, who is it hard for you to have those boundaries with and why? And, um, or are you one of those people that has your boundaries so rigid that uh, nobody can get through? And see, we're going to look at boundaries. Again, we're doing another assessment to really fine tune, you know, where are we with this whole thing called boundaries? And there are a couple of um, ways to look at boundaries. Again, there are the boundaries that we have that are firmly in place. Like you've got property line, you've got um, you know the boundaries of uh, I call them thresholds. So you know time. Like when you come home from work, do you leave work there or do you bring work home? You know that's a boundary. And is that being crossed or does it bleed over into each other? And then with people, it's, you know, it's easier to have some boundaries with some people and not so easy with others. So really figuring out what's, what's, the, what's the parameter that, that surrounds that? Why is it easy to have a boundary, you know, set in place with Mary, but not with uh, Beth? And finding out what is that delineating factor there, because that's going to that's going to tell you volumes about um, why it's easy or not so easy to create boundaries. And then you know, really looking at um, the boundary of even just our uh, our our soul, um, meaning like, do you really know what you believe? Do you are are your beliefs based uh, and the truth of your soul or is it based on what somebody uh, shared with you and you kind of prescribe to that and so it's really looking at all these different nuances of how boundaries show up in our life even down to you know if you are one of those people that tend to fall into codependency uh, that's a really soft boundary that you've created and that's something that you would want to I would hope uh, shift and make it a little, firm it up a little bit. Um, hang on a second. A little missy. We don't dig holes in the forest. <laughs> um, <laughs> somebody needs to, uh, she's asserting her boundary that she needs to go to the dog park. This is my first time actually teaching classes with uh, Navi here as my sidekick. And I hope you guys are gracious and uh, forgiving of some of the distraction. Uh, she's uh, she's a teacher all in of herself, that's for sure. Like when you get when you get impatient, just dig a hole and exert all that energy. You put it all into the hole and then bury it. That's that's her message. Um, so I think we better walk after we put dirt back into that hole. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to look at boundaries and then we're going to uh, just figure out where, where are the weak spots that need to be uh, filled in and where can we, um, where can we soften them a bit, you know? In the last, uh, one of the last videos I talked about how 
I had such a huge independent streak. And that independence created some really, really strong boundaries. Um, and even to this day, I probably have, uh, I, I'm very good with my boundaries and sometimes to a fault. And that's uh, something that I need to look at. Like, do I need to ease up on my boundaries a little bit? So we're going to take another assessment. And again, there's another <laughs> PDF for you to download. And if you're again on YouTube and you want that PDF, you're going to have to join the Facebook private group or go to our website and, and get that. And it's just going to give you kind of some clarity on that. You know, these five days, these six days are really about uh, getting really super clear about where we are, what we've, what we've manifested in our life, and uh, do we want to change anything to, to manifest something different. And if you have uh, this feeling that people walk all over you, you have uh, some boundaries you need to work on. And we're going to do that. We're going to give you the, the clarity that you need and a couple of tools for you to start playing with that. So I am going to uh, check out here because it's getting loud with helicopters. There's still a lot of fires over here in the west, which uh, is ironic because we're going into the west direction and it's a fire element. And uh, they're still battling fires here in the Olympic and up in Vancouver. So um, anyway, down below I would love to know what is your struggle with your boundaries uh, with people. Let's, uh, you know, let's start that conversation of... You're, you're not alone, I can assure you of that. You're not alone. And, um, and yeah, so I look forward to hearing from you guys and, and feeling out what, uh, where you guys are with that. Bye, guys.